the $1,300 per year raise for Social Security beneficiaries earning under $16,000. All the details and the plan in this video, so let's get into it. Welcome everybody, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and I am back every single day to keep you updated with everything going on. Thank you, I really appreciate you and let's talk through this. So Bernie Sanders wants to reform Social Security and raise benefits, especially for those individuals with an income under $16,000. Now, one of the major provisions in his plan is to implement a $1,300 per year raise for all of those beneficiaries with an annual income under $16,000. However, unfortunately, I think there is some confusion and some misconceptions rolling around out in the world right now regarding this $1,300 raise. So let me clear things up for you right now. So first off, this is all right off of Bernie Sanders' website. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, feel free to check it out right on his website. But I will tell you exactly what I'm finding. According to my research, it looks like this $1,300 raise is on an annual basis per year. The unfortunate part is I think a lot of people are getting this confused and maybe advertising this as a $1,300 per month raise. No, unfortunately, it says right on the website per year raise. So let me tell you how this actually shakes out. A $1,300 per year raise would actually come out to $108 and some change per month, okay? So that's maybe how it should have been written was like a $108 raise per month rather than $1,300 because I think that's just unfortunately possibly confusing some people. So that's actually what it comes out to be is $108 and a little bit of change per month to equal out to the $1,300 for the entire year. Now, here's what's also is interesting. We don't know if this would be implemented as a monthly raise, like $108 per month for the entire year, or if by any chance it would be possibly be like a lump sum payment at the end of the year. I highly doubt it would be a lump sum payment, but you just never know that was not specified on the website. Okay, so I wanted to throw that out there as well. Here's what else is really interesting about this. He specified on his website, this $1,300 raise for all these beneficiaries would be for those people with an annual income from your benefits under $16,000. Now, what's really interesting about that $16,000 number is that just so happens to be pretty much the 125% of the federal poverty level, which also is very interesting about that is President Biden also has a proposal out there right now to raise Social Security benefits to, yep, you called it, 125% of the federal poverty line. Now, the federal poverty level as of right now, according to my research and my searches online, is about $12,880. Well, if we take 12,880 multiplied by 1.25, it comes up to $16,100. Kind of interesting, right? It comes out to that. So Bernie Sanders must have looked at this and said, hey, the federal poverty line right now is $12,880. Let's bring it up to $16,000. Get what I'm saying? So he must have had that when he calculated all of these numbers and when he was running his proposals and his plan for this $1,300 per year raise, right? Okay, so I wanted to clarify that because Unfortunately, I think there's some other people out there maybe talking about this $1,300 raise and many people are thinking it's per month. No, if it was per month, that sure would be nice, right? Especially for those of you who are possibly receiving maybe like $700, $800, maybe $900 per month right now on your social security and then potentially look at a $1,300 on top of it. Yeah, I mean, that'd take you over $2,000 per month. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, now we'd be actually talking about something that somebody could possibly even live on, right? $2,000, you could probably make that happen, right? But yeah, no, that's unfortunately not the case as according, uh, according to this plan that Bernie Sanders has. One other element that he has within his plan here is he wants to raise the minimum benefit for those individuals receiving Social Security. We've seen this before as well. In fact, President Biden also has that in his plan where he wants to raise the minimum guaranteed benefit for those beneficiaries. Again, something else that I would also advocate for, which would be 
a minimum guaranteed benefit. I mean, let's be real here. Can anybody really live on 600, 700, 800, or even $900 per month? As we know, most people that receive social security have um, social security benefits as your only source of income. Who can live on $900 a month? I don't know. I mean, seriously, I mean, a lot of you are doing it, but really, that is not much to live on. I can't believe that they even feel like this is acceptable in a country that they continue to say is so wealthy and affluent, but then to have all these millions of people living on $900 or $800 a month, it just doesn't make any sense, right? So yeah, in addition to that, Bernie Sanders, in his plan and right there on his website, he said that 9.2% of seniors are living in poverty. Well, based on my research, that is accurate for one section of um, seniors. So let me actually run through these numbers because this is also interesting, uh, but let me run through this. So 8.4% of seniors between the ages of 65 through 69, yes, living in poverty. 7.4% of seniors aged uh, 70 through 74, yes, once again, <laughs> living in poverty. And 9.2% of those seniors aged 75 through 79, yes, living in poverty. So unfortunately, there are a lot of people based, aged 65 through basically 79 that are living in poverty. Now again, this does not include those people aged 80 and over, which according to my research, once again, is even a scary high number. It's even more than that. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are elderly, you know, older people living in poverty, and we've seen it so many times now that they continue to say, older adults and those individuals with disabilities should never need to live in poverty. Well, then why is it happening? I mean, why is this still acceptable for all of these millions of people to be living in poverty? Also, in Bernie Sanders' plan, he said that one in five seniors is trying to live on less than $13,500 per year from their benefits. Again, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I can't believe that this is even allowed in this country. I mean, seriously, I think at some point in the future, we're probably gonna look back on this and say, wow, I can't even believe that was allowed. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing at some point in the future, there's probably going to be some kind of rule or law or something like that that basically says anybody with an income under, you know, blank dollars or whatever would be allowed to be given extra benefits or extra um, like government support or something like that, whatever it happens to be. But I'm guessing this is gonna be one of those situations that we look back on in the future at some point, I don't know. The future could be in a year, it could be in five years. I have no clue when the future would be. But at some point, I imagine we're going to look back on this and say, I can't even believe that was allowed, seriously, to, to allow that many seniors and people with disabilities to live in poverty like that. I just feel like there's something so wrong about this picture, right? So anyway, with that being said, in yesterday's video, I had my wife, Corey, she came out and read all of this right off of Bernie Sanders' website. So here's what I'm going to do. At the end of this video, I'm going to attach that clip so that you can watch her and uh, hear exactly what is read right off of Bernie Sanders' website. In yesterday's video, I embedded it into the video, but in this time, I'm gonna add it at the very end of the video. Simply for those of you who maybe watched yesterday's video and saw that reading right off of his website, if you don't want to, you don't have to watch it again, right? So I wanted to have it at the end. So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, you can continue watching and read or listen to what is read right off of Bernie uh, Sanders' website, but this is his plan. This is what he wants to do with Social Security. He wants to reform the program, raise benefits, implement that minimum guaranteed benefit, and of course, help out those millions of seniors that are living in poverty during this time, which, like we said, is completely unacceptable. Anyway, with that being said, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. Share the videos with your friends, family, social media. Go back and check out other videos here on the channel. And again, with that being said, I will have Corey come in right now and she will read that right off of Bernie Sanders' website. I hope you enjoyed this and we will catch you in the next video. All right, Corey, take it away and I'll see all of you later. Expanding Social Security. At a time when about half of American households over the age of 55 have no retirement savings, and one out of five seniors are trying to live on less than $13,500 a year, our job is not to cut Social Security. Our job is to expand Social Security so that everyone in this country can retire with the dignity they have earned and everyone with a disability can live with the security they need. Social Security is the most successful government program in our nation's history. Before Social Security was signed into law, nearly half of seniors lived in poverty. 
Today, while much too high, the poverty rate for seniors is down to 9.2%. Through, through good times and bad, Social Security has paid every nickel own, owed to every eligible American, on time and without delay. This is an extraordinary accomplishment. Despite what you may have heard from what from those who want to cut back on Social Security, let's be clear. On, Social Security is not going broke. Social Security has a $2.9 trillion surplus and can pay every benefit owed to every eligible American for the next 16 years. Although Social Security's finances are strong, Congress must strengthen and expand it for our generations to come. How do we do that? Simple. At a time of massive income and wealth inequality, the wealthiest Americans in this country must pay their fair share into the system. Today, a billionaire pays the same amount of money into Social Security as someone who makes who pays $132,900 a year because the Social Security payroll tax is capped. Bernie's Social Security plan would lift this cap and apply the payroll tax on all income over $250,000 in order to accomplish four things. First, we will make sure that Social Security will pay every benefit owed to every eligible American for the next 52 years. Second, we will expand benefits across the board, including a $1,300 a year benefit increase for seniors with incomes of $16,000 a year or less. Third, we will lift millions of seniors out of poverty by increasing the minimum benefits paid to low-income workers when they retire. And fourth, we will increase cost of living adjustments to keep up with the rising cost of health care and prescription drugs by establishing a consumer price index for the elderly.